Hey, <clears throat> welcome to Healing Power of the Divine Universe. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome. I am here today with a, a uh, what is happening in your love life reading, or what does love have to offer you, kind of whatever you want to name it, it's, but it's regarding your love life. And I uh, went ahead and pulled out this enormous spread because I want to definitely dig deep into this. Sorry about that. I always forget that the TV is right next to where I do these readings, and I, when I watch back some of it, I notice that it is just really loud, so I don't want that. And I have the AC going because I'm hot, but um, let's kind of start digging deep into this. So I definitely see a couple different things going on here, um, but we'll just kind of dig in. I'm going to go... Um, each card, I clarified each card, then I have um, seven cards of what the outcome is going to be, and I clarified those also, so that sun is bright right there. I'll try not to move too much. So the first card I pulled is Take the Lead. So I am feeling that somebody in this situation is really needing to to take the lead, to really step up and, and um, kind of grab the other person's hand and just kind of start leading them towards, you know, this big ball of light, this big ball of hope, this big ball of, you know, love. Um, but someone in your this situation, if it's you or if it's the other person, really needs to to take the lead so this can get off the ground and get going and, you know, head in the direction that you're wanting it to head in. It is clarified with turning in. So I, I believe that you both need to definitely turn within and um, definitely meditate on what what it is that you're wanting to happen in this situation in your love life. You know, do you want a certain person? Is there somebody that you're wanting to come into your life? Have you not met them? Have you met them? But um, I'm getting the feeling that you have, and this love relationship has been stagnant. It's just been kind of, you know, hanging on, you know, our outside just waiting for somebody to to really step up and really take the lead and really push this towards whatever goal that you're wanting or whatever situation you know how you're wanting your situation to end up so the next card I pulled is win or lose and I, I'm not a big fan of this card because I I don't feel like we ever I mean I don't know how to explain it um, I don't feel like we ever win or lose, if that makes sense. I don't really like to ever think that anyone loses, but um, in this in in your in this situation, in this love situation, that's kind of what is going on here. Um, I believe that it's been stagnant for a while. It's kind of what I'm hearing. It's kind of what I'm feeling, and you you both kind of feel like you're both losing out on something because it's not coming together and to be able to win in this situation you both need to come together and really just start to to communicate to really open up and not be afraid to let each other know what you're wanting maybe um, in this situation someone is afraid to to really um, let their feelings be known Maybe somebody made a mistake in the past and uh, that mistake hasn't been brought to the table or or maybe somebody was listening to other people, people uh, kind of putting their two cents in on this relationship or, or this soon to be, you know, our relationship or maybe it is already a relationship. It doesn't have to be that it's never came together. Maybe it did come together but it never like fully came together to to form a beautiful loving bond so um i just think that instead of looking at it as a win or lose situation i would look at it as two people wanting to to have this love to want to come together and to want to be successful so definitely kind of cut you know like in this card here allow this sword to cut the thought out of winning or losing 
So I clarified the win and lose card or lose card with awareness. So uh, both of you in this situation need to, to definitely be aware of how you're feeling, what is actually going on. Um, be aware of outside distractions, people trying to, to kind of, you know, kind of horn in or I think that's how you say it, um, into telling you what you should do or if you should be together or if this is the right person for you. Um, maybe somebody is, you know, you're two different people and and it's just a really scary thought. And instead of really winning or wanting to know the end result, if you're going to win or lose in this situation, just allow the love to glow or glow, <laughs> let it glow, uh, grow and allow it to form into what it is going to, you know, become and and allow your it to glow allow your you know the love and light to come into it and kind of like push everything else out you know we all want to know if something is going to work we all want to know if you know we're going to have the win at the end of a, a situation but you know what nothing is ever guaranteed in anything that we do and we need to remember that um, but w if you don't try then how will you ever know? You're going to spend the rest of your life thinking about this love situation, wondering if if you would have allowed it to come together or if you would have just kind of went with the flow with it, how it would have turned out. But instead, it's I feel that it's, it is like a win or lose situation. You feel that if your love comes together that you'll definitely win, which is true. I mean, always, you know, if you come into a love, you know, a relationship and and you have, you know, absolute unconditional love for each other. You want to, you really want this love. You really want this relationship. You really want it to work. Then, you know, you can absolutely, you know, have a win situation. But if you come into any situation with doubts, um, fears, with, you know, wanting to know the end result the whole time or wanting to know um you know each step of the way if it's going to be challenging if it's going to be just this smooth sailing relationship you're you'll never be able to form the true bond the true the true love that you are wanting to grow uh, because you're going to allow the fears and the doubts to overwhelm what really could be or what can be so Try to really be aware of that and be aware of people around you that are trying to stop this from, you know, coming together, that are putting doubt in your mind, that are really, you know, causing the fears and, you know, and pushing you away from this because you have to ask yourself, why are these people so concerned on who I love or who I want to be with? Why are they, you know, so set to, to badmouth this person or to... To keep us apart because typically it's like envy it's jealousy it's um you know your your friends or family feel like they might lose you uh if you have such a strong beautiful relationship because that person might start occupying more of your time i mean you really have to be aware of everything that is going on on the outside and then on the inside and then between you and this person we have nurture so you definitely both need to nurture yourselves first, always, and then to start to nurture this relationship to allow it to, to, to grow, allow it to become this beautiful ball of light and all these beautiful flowers and, you know, and then once you nurture yourselves and you feel great about yourself, then when you start to nurture this love, it's just going to just expand and grow and the love will just, you know, kind of, um, block out all the fears, all the doubts, all the things that that are stopping this love. I feel like something's stopping this, and it's and it's it is fears and doubts, and it's it is people um, on the outside doing something or saying something that is causing either one person or both people to really fear this relationship, to really doubt it. Maybe it's self-doubt. Maybe that, you know, someone here um, isn't sure if they're ready for this, you know, this love. Um, maybe it's some a love that's just really strong. Maybe it is uh, a 
soulmate. Maybe it's a twin flame that, you know, you you feel these intense feelings for someone and that it, it creates this fear and this doubt and at times maybe even anger. So, so just be aware of everything that is causing this knot to come together. And because to me, when I'm looking at all the cards I pull, it's, it's a very strong connection. It's a full of love and it could be very, very successful and I mean, very uh, joyous and happy, but there's a lot of interference, a lot from the outside world and from within each person that is involved, you know, that this represents. So from the uh, nurture card, I pulled the harmony. So once you nurture yourself and you start to nurture this, this relationship, it is going to start to become, you know, it will come into harmony. It will start flowing. It will start just feeling like this beautiful, I mean, look at this, um, these two dolphins above this, um, guy, I think it's a guy or it could be a girl. I mean, you know, short haired girl. Um, but it is just going to fill your, your life with this beautiful, you know, feeling and you're just going to feel this harmony and it's going to start to be able to come into harmony and, to, and it's just going to flow and it's going to be very beautiful. It's going to be very rewarding and successful. It just is not at this moment because there's so much fear and doubt and there's so much interference from the outside world. We have listen. So it's time to start listening to uh, yourself, uh, to your higher above, to your angels, your ancestors, your guides, and to also to, to start communicating and listening to one another. To really open up and stop being afraid and find out what, you, what each other, per, you know, what the other person wants. Um, what they're wanting to bring into this relationship, what they have to offer, what uh, they expect from you and what you can bring and offer into this relationship. And uh, it's, you know, by listening and communicating, those are two of the strongest keys in any relationship. If it's friendship, you know, a, a romantic relationship, if it's, you know, coworkers, family, whatever. If you could actually just sit back and listen to one another and not bring in all the outside distractions and all the fear and all the doubt that it, it you, you would see a huge difference in, in what you are really thinking about this and what you are really feeling. And you'd be surprised what the other person is thinking and feeling also. With the listen card, I uh, clarified it with, we are the world. And to me, with this card, I feel that you could create a beautiful world together. You, if you could listen to each other and just really open up, that you would feel like you you would have more love. Like um, when I do, when I use my spirit board and when I use my pendulum, my pendulum will spin like crazy, like really fast around, and it's like I love you more than the world. And then my, when I do my spirit board, it does the same thing and it will go like the whole, um, the whole circle of my board. And that's telling me that whomever I'm communicating with is telling me that they love me more in the whole world. And so to me, that's what this card represents. And that's what you need to listen to from your other person and your person needs to listen to you because I do believe that your guys' love is very, very strong and that you do both love each other as much as, you know, as much as the whole world is because the whole world so that's what I'm getting from that card it might not resonate with everyone but that's what it resonates with me so I pulled just breathe so both of you are needing to step back you know take a deep breath do some breathing exercises really try to relax really try to kind of go outside of yourself or go inside of yourself to figure out what it is that you want how you want this love to turn out. Um, what does the other person mean to you? What is the other person representing when you think of that person and um, a relationship forming in between both of you? So that's just, you need to still your mind and just really concentrate on your breathing, meditate, you know, go within and follow your instinct, follow your intuition. Where is it guiding you? Is it guiding you back to this person? 
Is this person all you can you think about? Is it, you know, even if things have been hard, you know, kind of rough and, you know, not very nice between you two. Maybe you guys have been arguing. Maybe there's been a lot of conflict, but just go within, breathe, and allow yourself to, you know, inhale positivity and exhale all the negativity. We have the rebel. So I don't think it's telling somebody to be the rebel. Maybe somebody in this situation is more calm and the other one is kind of a rebel. Or maybe that's the way that the other person is perceiving you or you're perceiving that person. But I, I feel though that you both are just like this and you're both wanting this relationship to really form, but form out of not toxicity, not being a rebel, not, you know, going against the grain and, and, you know, rebelling against what, what society says is right or wrong. Maybe you do want to rebel against what society says is right or wrong. Maybe somebody's older, maybe somebody's, you know, completely different. Maybe people um, have perceived somebody in this situation completely wrong, but you as the person that wants to have this love with this person completely understands this person and sees right through all that and you know deep in your heart that this person isn't this rebel that everybody is making them out to be. They're actually opposite. They're this person and you know it and you feel it and you are embracing it. So that's what I'm getting from that. So um, next, let me hang on one second. I need to grab something. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. The next card I pulled is the Sacral Chakra. And this is, the key facts of the Sacral Chakra are color orange, uh, sound vam, element water, glands are the testicles and ovaries, and the key word is I want. So you definitely are wanting each other. Um, it also is the, I wanna read this to you, is why I grab my book. Known as the Sacral Chakra, the second chakra is located two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality. To activate this chakra, visualize a glowing orange ball of energy in the belly area. See it spinning and sparkling. Feel joy as it grows larger and sends orange sparks out into the universe by energizing the sacral chakra. You attract creativity, joy, passion, and love into your life. Um, so I... I wanted to read that to you because the sacral chakra came up twice in this reading. I have two cards that are the sacral chakra pulled. So I believe that you both are needing to cleanse your sh sacral chakra and do it like I, I described in the book. Um, you can meditate. You can um, search on YouTube for meditations that will cleanse all of your chakras or you can just work on your sac sacral chakra. But you are needing to also allow that creativity and that sexuality and all that good stuff to really come into this love relationship to really be prominent and strong and known because once you both do that I think that you both are wanting the same thing the key words were I want and I believe that what you want is you want each other and no matter if one is a, a rebellious or rebellious or you know, one is calm, or one is older, or younger, or whatever your circumstances are, the fact is, is that you both want each other. And the distractions and all the chatter in people's ears is really creating this conflict that's really upsetting you both. And I don't feel that you guys have came together to listen to one another like face to face or even on, you know, on a telephone conversation. I don't think that you've shared how much you both mean to each other and I think that's very important for this because this isn't a love that you can go find with somebody else this isn't just something you can just kind of toss aside and go well I'll just go start dating somebody else because this person is constantly going to be on your mind and it isn't fair to the other person that you're with if you're dating someone else and it isn't fair to you to let this go because this is going to be a very beautiful a very successful love relationship. So, uh, with the sacral chakra, I, I pull or clarified it with change. So there needs to be some changes made. Maybe you know, within the way that you're feeling, maybe you need to be expressing what you are feeling. Um, really, 
making changes in your life, the way that you think, the way that you maybe want to know the end result, but that's just impossible to do. To stop thinking that this won't will not be successful because you're so different or, you know, maybe somebody needs to break addictions. Maybe there's addictions that are, are kind of uh, keeping this apart. Maybe it's all the people around you. Maybe you need to release some people or, you know, make some changes in your life. Stop listening to the outside world. Make some changes, you know, within your thinking. Start thinking positive about this relationship instead of negative. The next card I pulled is trust. So definitely you both need to trust in, for one thing, divine timing. If this is a soulmate connection, if this is a twin flame connection, then divine timing will bring that person into your life when you and that person are ready. You cannot escape and cannot speed up divine timing, no matter how much you want it to come together, no matter how much you know, you're, you know, you're desiring and just wanting each other and just wanting to feel the love that you know that this uh, love can create. So uh, just trust in the process. Trust that, you know, that this love will come together. This, you, it might not seem like it. It might just seem there's just no way ever. I mean, we're not getting along. Maybe you guys aren't getting along. Maybe you guys fight and argue. Maybe you say bad things to each other and it, hurtful things and you just don't think the other person's going to forgive you. But if it's true love and honest love and it's meant to be, then it will. And you just have to have trust and patience and faith that, you know, the universe will bring you together. We have conditioning as a clarifying card of trust. So you both are, I believe, in the process of conditioning. Maybe you both are at this time in your life where you are having to be this lion. Maybe you're having having to change your life. Maybe you're having to condition your yourself to to stop allowing people to butt into your life, to stop allowing people to tell you how you feel and who you should be with and and who you shouldn't be with. And you know, maybe it's um, you have like traditional differences. Maybe it's religious differences. It's um, family traditions. Maybe somebody here is married or in a serious relationship and and somebody doesn't feel that their family will understand that they don't want to be with that person anymore because they're in love with somebody completely different. There could be a lot of situ you know, situations that can be causing this kind of uproar. I feel like it's this uproar. So um, right now I feel that each person is conditioning themselves. They're making changes. They're, they're trying to change their thought process. They're trying to break free from negativity they're trying to break free from tr traditions and and the way that you know their friends and family are wanting this to go and wanting to keep this apart but i'm telling you if this is a soulmate especially if this is a twin flame connection there isn't anything that can keep it apart because the universe isn't going to allow it and if it's meant to be no matter if it's a soulmate or a twin flame then it's going to be so but if it's a twin flame it's written in the stars. There's no stopping this. Maybe someone um, in it is, you know, maybe somebody in this love situation, people look at, society doesn't look at in a very good life. Maybe they're judging somebody too harshly. harshly. Maybe somebody's going through something that makes them look bad or, you know, or I don't know. But... What we have to do is we have to go within. We have to really follow our heart. And if you truly love someone, then you have to trust that. And you have to trust that person that you're loving. You, you know, people can, can go into relationships all the time and think they know somebody. And once they get into that relationship, that person changes. And you're like, whoa, where did this person come from? Who is this? This isn't who I fell in love with. This isn't who I... I committed myself to, wanted to move into, you know, with, or that I said, you know, my wedding vows to, and um, we never know. You just never know. But what, what we do know is that, you know, love, we all want it. We're all searching for it. And if, if you have one inkling that this is the one, that this love can be successful and can grow into this beautiful 
you know, into what we all thrive and what we all work towards and what we all want, then you know what? It's worth trying. It is. It's worth trying. Um, let's go on. The next one is the Sacral Chakra again. I won't go over it again, so that's just another clar clarifying card that we need to, or you need to um, definitely, you know, go within and figure out how you feel about each of those things. You need to go in and definitely meditate, open that sacral chakra up, and allow all of your, like your sexuality, your creativity, your, you know, I want to come out. That doesn't mean that you're being selfish, but especially when it comes to love, because if you want something, you want someone, and that's the person that you want in your life, and that's the person that you want to love, then by God, don't let it pass you by, because you'll probably never find that love again. And if it doesn't work out, then that's, you know, we all have to go through lessons like that. We can't close off our heart. We can't be afraid of love. We can't be afraid to try new things or, or if we've been hurt from love before, we cannot be afraid to love again because that's really, life's too short for that and we're missing out on a lot. And speaking from someone that did that for many years, don't do that. So, <coughs> excuse me my throat chakra um the sacral chakra was um clarified with the existence card so let your dreams your desires your sexuality your creativity exist that's i mean let let it all just come out into the existence allow it to form allow it to grow allow it to exist we have partnerships and alliances so if you do allow this to come together and you do, you know, open up and listen and communicate and open your heart and all that good stuff. I believe it will come into this partnership and I and uh, create this alliance. But I do believe that it's going to bring you so close together that once you grab onto one another like this, you won't ever let go. You will always be there for one another. You will, you will, you know, grab onto one each other's arms and you will that's where you're forever going to stay so that's just my feeling from what I'm getting from this uh, reading I think that you know a lot of fear and a lot of people's chatter and unfortunately you know a lot of harsh judgment and just negativity is really preventing this so partnerships and alliances is clarified with new vision so allow this new vision to come into light. Allow the new, you know, the vision that you have towards this love, towards this success, and towards that other person to really take form. To really, I mean, this card, these cards are so beautiful. But look, it, just let it be electric. Let it be just mind blowing and just, you know, just let it be free and just exciting and new. And allow that new vision to really take form and take you off onto a new journey. The next card I have is Memories of Love. And with this, it could be that maybe you and this this person have been together before. Maybe it was something that you you kind of, you know, stepped, you, you kind of put one foot in, but it never really took form to put the, the next foot in. Or maybe it's just, you know, maybe you, maybe it's um, like you're, fantasizing of the love that you could have with each other. Um, maybe you're feeling that you lost this love because of a decision that you made. Maybe somebody hurt somebody. Maybe somebody turned somebody down. Maybe someone here has already tried to, to come towards them to try and take the lead in this and somebody was rejected. Or it could be memories of you know, past hurts, past relationships that did not pan out. But, you know, allow those memories to fade away if that's the case. Try to to heal from those, you know, past hurts, those past uh, disappointments, because you never want to bring those into any type of relationship. If it's friendship, you know, with family, it co you know, even co-workers, but especially in romance, because you never, tr I mean, just because one somebody in your past hurt you and they... They might have lied and cheated and used you or, you know, whatever, that, you know, somebody did to you in the past. Doesn't mean that each person that you date from that point on 
is going to do the same thing to you. Even if you have dated people that have done that, you know, like you were dating somebody, then you, you know, got out of that relationship and you jumped into another one. A lot of it's because that's the mindset that we're set on. We're, we're, we have this mindset that we're thinking the whole time, this person's going to cheat on me. This person's going to hurt me. And that's what we're sending out as our energy into the universe. And that's what the universe is bringing, bringing us. And that's the people that the universe is bringing us. So we have to definitely heal from those wounds and be able to, to fully open ourselves up, you know, and open our hearts up and our, you know, our minds and have positive feelings and positive thoughts in every relationship that we enter into after that. Uh, memories of love is clarified with the no thingness, and that says it all. The memories uh, that you or your person have gone through have left them feeling like this. But if they release that, see, they're releasing these candles into the water to flow and to, to float off. And if, we, if you guys can definitely do this, you will not remain feeling like this. You won't feel like that you're in the darkness. You won't feel like one person is going to end up feeling that way. Or maybe it's because you haven't communicated how you truly feel. Maybe one person has tried and the other person has ignored it. Maybe someone in this situation is afraid, just afraid. Or maybe one person isn't very um, boisterous about their how they feel. Maybe they're more of the type of people that show that, you know, they they buy you things they they do things for you to show you their love I mean everybody um, does you know love differently um, expresses love differently has their ways of showing love but the thing is is I think there's been so much turmoil and just so much disappointment so far in this love that the only way it's going to come back together is by talking about it, by being open, by being vulnerable with each other, by just speaking your truth and speaking from your heart, not by anger, not by holding grudges, not by being pissed off and, you know, and allowing people on the outside world to tell you how you're feeling and what you should do, because who are they to tell you? And honestly, for people to be doing that to anyone and making someone feel like they shouldn't love someone, it just shows you that they're so unhappy in their own lives that they have time to worry about yours. So we have heartache and loss. So again, this could be from, you know, somebody might be still healing from a relationship they just lost. Maybe uh, somebody just got, you know, got out of one. Maybe they were in a relationship for a long time and somebody is still healing here. And so maybe that's um, something that, they need to finish doing or they need to start doing because maybe what they're doing is they they do want this to come together they do see success but they're allowing their old heartache and the loss that they went through to to stop this to prevent this from coming together because they're afraid that that's what's going to happen again or it could be that there was some hurt feelings here maybe it was they this didn't come together like i said maybe one foot was put in but the second foot was never um, able to form. Maybe it was, you know, just it never came together fully and it has left maybe you both having a lot of heartache and loss and you just feel really disappointed and sad. And But the thing is, is the, the other person might not know that and, and, it, and it's blocking this from coming together because nobody's talking about it. Nobody's opening up about it and and that's what it's clarified with is the suppression card. So I feel that both of you are suppressing, you know, the disappointment, the pain, and the, the sorrow that you're feeling from this love not coming together. And it's really taking a toll on both of you on, you know, and on this, this beautiful love that can be. So I, what I, I, it, it just has to be spoke about. It's time to address it. And if it's, maybe if it's, um, if it's not meant to be, I still feel that, I mean, like your heart is aching. You just feel broken. You just you just feel sad. I can feel your emotions, but then my emotions are feeling this way too because I feel like what how I'm describing this kind of too. So I'm just really heartbroken. There's somebody that I love very deeply. 
um, but just it hasn't came together and it might and it might not um, but I don't know it's an awful feeling I know that we have accelerated motion so I think that maybe at the beginning of this maybe it started off where it was just you were positive this was just going to be successful it was moving forward it was fun and it was exciting and something happened I think somebody dropped the ball or I think that somebody here got scared and ran the other direction um, maybe they allowed other people to to stop this from happening maybe it was their family maybe it was traditions maybe it was a job or career you just don't ever know but it was you know it was going to it was moving fast and it, it really was moving into a very successful love a very happy um, it could have been or it can be still but I think somebody here is I think they both find themselves kind of you know gazing outside staring up and just wondering well what happened you know what happened why did it end like this why is it, why did it turn out like this or or maybe you know they're wondering or sitting there thinking what if it would have came together where would we be would we still be together would have it have been you know so the the accelerated uh, motion was definitely halted in the situation and there's a lot of guilt over it so if it's not both of you one person has a lot of guilt maybe someone wasn't so nice to the other person maybe one person broke the other person's heart and maybe it was just a one night stand and um, somebody was ghosted and I don't know whatever it is in your situation there is a lot of guilt that is driving this person crazy they can't sleep at night they want to stop suppressing how they're feeling they want to come out of the dark because they want their new vision to come and they want your existence to be together but somebody's halting that we have material harvest so this could definitely you know obviously you could you could harvest a lot in material wise maybe somebody was more actually what I get with this is somebody was more worried about their material things about maybe their job maybe they wanted to focus only on their job and money and what they were able to gain from you know finances and what they were materially um, harvesting with you know maybe if it's a house if it's cars if it's you know money but um, I think that that's really kind of blocked this also. Maybe somebody didn't have enough. They didn't feel like they had enough, which is really sad that people feel that way because you know what? Even when you don't, maybe one person doesn't have as much. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't grow and, and you start to have this material harvest together. It's, you know, it's, if you, if somebody wants to be with somebody just because of their finances and what they have to offer, that isn't love at all. I mean, sure, we all want to be well taken care of. We want to to have something to offer somebody, you know, materially. But, you know, unfortunately, at times in our lives, we can, we could have been on top of the world and something could have happened and it could be all gone. So sometimes we just don't have that to offer. And, and sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's what the universe wants because it universe wants you guys to come in as a partner and alliance and rebuild and build that together so don't ever think that you don't have enough material you know possessions or money to to truly love and come to, together with somebody if they truly love you they won't care that's not what they're looking for they're looking for you they want you and whatever it takes to build and come together and have this successful life you'll do it together um, that's clarified with a stress card. So maybe somebody's bubbles were burst. I always notice how this pin is bursting these bubbles. Um, maybe somebody thought that they had more to offer than the other person, that the, the other person didn't have anything to offer. I don't know. Um, or maybe it was just the stress of not having enough. They felt, somebody here felt like they didn't have enough to offer the other person. and. They're bursting the bubble there because the other person doesn't care. The other person just wants their love, wants their kindness, their friendship. 
and wants, you know, their relationship to grow. And then the last card I pulled is light. So there's definitely, you're, you're both working towards this light, but this relationship is definitely, you know, is the universe is watching over it. Your angels, your ancestors, your guides are bringing this together, and it is meant to be. So um, you both need to, to step out of the darkness, step out of your fears, and step into the light and love and allow this to come together. Stop fighting it. Stop trying to run the other direction because the universe is not allowing you to, no matter what. it's The universe wants you two together. This is meant to be. This is written in the stars. This is a love of a lifetime. This, honest to gosh, is a love of a lifetime. And if you walk away or let this go, you will regret it the rest of your life and probably many lifetimes after that. And then the light card is uh, clarified with the patience card. So someone here is being very patient. Maybe you both are needing to be very patient, but this love is going to come together. So just know that. Well, that is what I have for um, what is happening, you know, in your love life or what is going on in this love you know, relationship that you're trying to build or form. I'm not sure what I'm going to name this yet, but I'm just sending out so much unconditional love, so much healing, so much support. And if your heart is feeling as sad as mine is and as broken as mine is, I definitely am sending you extra, extra. And please, um, if you could do the same for me too, I'd really appreciate it. So much love to each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you would. I post all the time, so subscribe, hit the notification bell, and it will, you know, let you know when I do upload. Um, and if you could hit the like button and share this video, because maybe somebody that has not seen my videos and my messages would be able to have a chance to do so. I'm trying to get my channel to grow, definitely. If you would like to make a donation, if you um, check out the link below, I have PayPal listed on there. Even a dollar uh, donation would help my channel grow and help me be able to purchase new cards and, and all that good stuff. So I greatly appreciate it. Everybody have a beautiful, loving rest of your day. Or if it's morning or if your day is just starting, whatever it is, just have a beautiful, loving day. Thanks again for watching. Take care and lots of peace.